Ooh. All right. Let me get my screen situated. I think I'm live. Hello, if I'm live already. <laughs> Let me just reload Facebook just in case. Um, also, hey, I'm health coach Natalie Smith. We'll get started in just a second here. I just want to make sure everything is streaming properly. And it is indeed. So I'm excited. Hello again. I'm health coach Natalie Smith. Um, it is day two of our June wellness week. And um, yeah, I'm excited to be here really. Um, for today, we're going to be chatting a little bit about movement. And I just want to yeah, kind of share ideas of some, you know, creative types of movement um, and ways to kind of, you know, incorporate our family, maybe your kids into your movement. Uh, June 12th, so this Saturday, I believe, is Family Health and Fitness Day. So again, just really want to challenge you guys to get creative with movement and really have fun with it. So if you're watching on Facebook or if you end up hopping into my Zoom live, um, feel free to you know comment ideas or questions or thoughts as you're watching. I'd love to hear you know what you like to do for movement or what you and your family like to do for movement. So without further ado, let's chat about it. So when we um, at Epic, we have kind of our we call them our general recommendations or minimum effective dose for kind of, you know, general health, uh, health and wellness in terms of movement. And included in those would be things like walking, um, really intentional movement is super duper important. So we prioritize intentional movement. We talk a lot about, you know, incorporating some strengthening and stretching into your week. Uh, we talk a little bit about Tabata HITS, which in case you're not familiar, I'll explain them a little bit quickly. So HITS stands for High Intensity Interval Trainings. And we do the Tabata version, which is four minutes total. You go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off in intervals. Again, four minutes total. So that's eight intervals of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Um, and really, you could pretty much do anything within your HIIT workout. You can um, modify it, you know, do it while you're walking. You can um, incorporate some different things like mountain climbers or, you know, jump rope, jumping jacks. Um, you know, there's so much that you can include in a HIIT uh, HIIT workout. And if you do, you know, if that sounds like something fun, because again, it's only four minutes and the benefits of that four minute workout, it, which amazes me, can last hours after that workout. So just four minutes of that Tabata hit could, again, give you benefit for a couple hours um, after that. So that's super fun. And also it's just nice to have, you know, a quick movement option. You know, if you're kind of tight on time and you don't have, you know, time to do a 30 minute workout. Um, but you know, it's, it's likely that you can squeeze a little four minute something in there. So those are super great. And um, there's an app called Tabata timer, which is super duper helpful. It already has the intervals built in there. It's much easier than trying to do it on the timer app. Trust me, I've tried. Um, so save yourself the, the stress there and get that Tabata timer app. It'll, it'll just make your life a little easier that way. If you, if you want to incorporate some hits there, um, um, so again, that's kind of Epic's, you know, general recommendation, but today I wanted to chat kind of outside of that general recommendation. And again, anybody that's watching on Facebook, please do, you know, comment into my live and let me know, you know, what you enjoy for movement. What, what's, what's like a fun type of movement that you get excited about or look forward to. And in the meantime, you know, I'm just going to share some different things as Dan and I were planning for this week. Um, we just kind of chatted about some, you know, maybe outside of the box ideas uh, in terms of movement. And again, um, just because this Saturday is Family Health and Fitness Day, we just wanted to chat about, you know, some ideas for involving the kids with movement too. So let's get into it. One of the first things that we chatted about was um, things like, you know, public parks. I think there's a lot of, uh, you know, regardless of where you live, um, you know, for the most part, there are trails nearby. Um, you know, a lot of times there's public parks or different play areas and even some places to explore. Even here in Iowa, I am surprised often with, um, you know, kind of the, the fancy vacation places like Makokata Caves here in Iowa um, are super fun and it could be great to hike at and really just, you know, encouraging you to explore your area and you know maybe there's some new places that you haven't been that 
maybe will be your new favorite place. So just encouraging you to, you know, look around in your area, see if there is any, you know, public parks or maybe even, you know, some kind of public event or, um, you know, they have uh, Des Moines got a new skate park here. I know that's not not everyone's cup of tea, but, you know, um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of options for us to to get creative with movement. So that's one thing to consider. Again, just, you know, yeah, the places in your area or nearby, too. So that's one thing. And some other kind of new new uh, things that I've I've been researching, there's these new kind of weighted hula hoops. I've, I was talking to Dr. Bradley about it a couple of weeks ago. And basically they have kind of like little joints um, and they go, they connect all around and they go around your waist, of course. And then there's a string with a weight at the end of it. So it's kind of like a, again, just a, a different kind of weighted hula hoop. And then you can adjust um, kind of the joints. So, you know, I've seen a lot of videos of people doing those for months and months. And as they practice a lot, they get to, um, yeah, kind of take out joints and make them smaller, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, those you can just look up like weighted hula hoops and they have things like that. And even like weighted jump rope. I always forget about jump rope. That's something I used to do as a kid all the time. Um, but yeah, they have regular jump ropes. They've got, of course, weighted jump ropes now. Um, it reminds me of uh, what's it called? I think they were called like skippets or something like that. They, you know, there's a hoop that attached to your foot and basically a string with a ball that counts the circles around it. I wonder if they still have those around. That was always a fun, just weird movement to do. So again, just encouraging guys, to, encouraging you guys to get creative and, you know, start thinking outside of the box for movement. Um, I do want to show you guys this really cool app. So as we chat a little bit more about you know, ways to get the kids involved. Um, of course, YouTube has so many options, so many workout videos, so many, you know, whether it's dancing or um, even like a specific workout or even kids yoga. YouTube is an awesome, awesome resource for that. And even, you know, Googling it too, if there's, if you've got an idea and you're, you know, looking for something, um, Dr. Bradley likes to say, Dr. Google. So you can definitely check out Google. So for you know, some just movement ideas um, and different videos and stuff online because there's definitely tons and tons of articles and resources. And there's one specifically that I'm gonna share my screen here and show you guys a little bit. This is an app called Fit On. So Fit On, um, they have a mobile app, but you can also get on on a computer as well. So I just logged in as myself here. And this app is super duper cool. I have the free version. You can pay, um, you know, they have an upgraded plan version, but honestly, everything that I've wanted to do is available with the free version. So um, I'm just gonna kind of show you guys around a little bit because this could be, you know, fun on your own, but they also have ways to filter your search for, you know, um, kid workouts too, or, you know, kid movements or just kind of fun things that, that they might enjoy too. So these are just some workouts. Um, the cool thing with this app specifically is you can, you know, look for for workouts. They have a bunch of different videos, but you can also join live classes. So I'm gonna go to their homepage here. And yeah, so these are just like random workouts that are on here. We can browse a little bit. And again, they have, classes every single day. So a variety of classes. They've even got some celebrity instructors on here, um, which, you know, if you're into that, awesome. Um, but again, they just have such a huge variety of different workouts. And again, live classes that you can, um, you know, schedule for, you can mark yourself as attending and join the group. Um, and yeah, it's, it's like joining a live class. Again, everyone's kind of doing it at home on their own, but regardless, I know, you know, it is encouraging for some people to just, yeah, have kind of that group aspect of movement and can make it maybe a little bit more fun sometimes. So, um, Again, just so many different options on here. You can search based on you know the type of movement that you want to do. Um, they also have some hits in here there too. You know you can look for no equipment type of workouts. I really love dancing. I mentioned this in a two minute tip a, a week or so ago. I know that some people are hesitant to dancing because they're afraid you know of of you know 
how they might look while they're dancing. I personally, uh, I, I dance like no one's watching. It just gives like a weird kind of pure childlike joy and it's just fun. So yeah, I'd encourage you there to, uh, yeah, kind of step out of your comfort zone as well because maybe, maybe you'll really enjoy it. But I wanna show you guys kind of the search feature on here. Sorry, I'm more familiar with it um, on my cell phone. But we can hit the search feature and basically like filter the kind of workout that I want. So if I only am, you know, I only want to do about five, 10 minutes, I'd like a low intensity, I can choose a, a target area if I want to. For now, I'm going to skip that because I want to show you guys just these different options. So they've got uh, meditative type movements, yoga, um, cardio, really anything you can think of. Bar exercises are really cool too. That's something that I um, didn't know a lot about recently, but excited to learn more there. And then they've got this with kids one as well. And again, you can choose, you know, if you want to incorporate some equipment, if you have a specific trainer, that's your favorite. And then we can search, let's just see what it comes up for us. So it's got, you know, some, uh, again, just, you know, shorter videos. I can adjust my filters and, um, Again, just kind of whatever I'm feeling that day, I can get pretty specific with what I'm looking for. And they've always got, you know, a couple options really regardless of, of what I'm searching for. So that was just kind of a, a small little rundown of that app. I just think it's really cool. And, um, you know, maybe it yeah could be helpful for you as you're, you know, looking for new types of movement or yeah, just trying to explore that realm a little bit. So that was fit on, um, just a reminder to, I'll post a question of the day right after this call. And um, all you have to do is uh, just comment under that post, answer that question, and we'll send you the guide for today, which will include this recording of this call, along with, you know, any videos or links or, you know, articles, sites that I chat about today. And that's the same for every day this week. So another thing that I wanna chat with you guys about too, Again, just in terms of, you know, incorporating the family, um, they do even have like uh, kids specific yoga. Um, there's a uh, user on YouTube called Cosmic Kids Yoga. And again, uh, actually, I can just open that up real quick or I, it's gonna start playing the video. So I'm gonna <laughs> refrain from doing that. But um, again, the Cosmic Kids Yoga is just a whole page full of, you know, kid-friendly yoga um, workouts. I don't really like to call them workouts. Um, but yeah, again, YouTube can be a really awesome resource if you're, you know, just looking to spice things up a little bit. And um, again, just kind of sharing more ideas of, you know, what are some different things that, you know, maybe we didn't think of um, initially with movement and just some of the things that Dan and I chatted about were things like, you know, kickball, or again, I mentioned dancing. I just, I, I love dancing. It's so much fun. I know there's a lot of people out there. Um, we had a movement challenge a couple months ago and someone had posted a video of them and their kids playing Just Dance, which is a Wii game. I think it's on the Xbox and a couple other, um, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, I can't find the word, but Xbox, we, they have a bunch of different games, but Just Dance is exactly what it sounds like. You're just dancing and it was so fun to see them just, just moving. That used to be one of my favorite things to do too. And it, it doesn't, it seems like it would be easy, but it, it's, you kind of get what you put into it. So, or you get out what you put into it. So, um, that can be really fun too. Along with that, um, just considering the summertime, you know, there's a lot more activities to do outside, whether that's, you know, swimming, maybe tennis. I know Dr. Bradley and Rachel have been really enjoying tennis recently. Um, things like even, you know, maybe mini golf or roller skating, uh, biking, of course, is super popular in the summer. Roller skating is one of my favorite things to do. Um, we even have, there's something in Des Moines called Skate South where you know, you can just go and basically do circles around the lap. Otherwise, you know, there's, of course, considering your public parks and trails and things. Um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of, of beautiful areas to explore. So I encourage you to kind of look around there with, you know, new ideas of where to be active. Um, another kind of creative idea that Dan had chatted with me about is making the most out of commercial breaks. So what we mean by this is instead of, you know, 
yeah, just, you know, continuing to be, you know, sedentary and sitting and watching those commercial breaks, maybe making use of those. So, you know, maybe doing a little bit of a plank or some wall sits or, you know, challenging your kids or your spouse or your roommate to, you know, a sit up contest or maybe some push ups during that that commercial break. Um, that can just be a fun, you know, kind of weird way to get active. But again, you're, you know, movements movement so any way you can you know incorporate that that could be fun as well and also something worth mentioning um i think with with movement and and stress management too dan and i were just chatting about this in our 80 percent call um but movement and stress management as well they are accumulative so we don't necessarily have to you know get all of our movement into one you know time slot each day, even if we're doing, you know, five minutes of movement in the morning or 10 in at lunch and, you know, 10 more in the evening, it doesn't have to be all at once. Um, you can totally spread out your movement throughout the day if that works for you. Um, so just want to encourage you there that, yeah, even, you know, a couple minutes of movement, even I know me being sedentary and sitting most of my work day, it's really important. I've had to be really conscious to prioritize taking standing breaks. So even if I'm just, you know, walking around the room for a few minutes or standing or, um, you know, something like that, just to avoid being in the seated position for many, many hours without getting up. Excuse me, just, yeah, something to consider there too. Cause I know a lot of us now, especially with more people working from home, um, you know, it's, it's very common for us to be sitting a lot of the day. So um, yeah, just trying to find little breaks of time where we can at least stand and maybe stretch a little bit. Um, just get our, get our muscles moving, our blood flowing a little better. And um, yeah, just consider that too. Um, but continuing with really just sharing ideas. And again, if anyone, you know, watching on, on Facebook, or if you're watching this later, definitely would recommend, you know, commenting below and, and just sharing, you know, what are some of the activities that you and your family, um, you know, have done in the past, do currently, or maybe even would like to do if there's something that, you know, sounds really fun. Um, tell me about it. I definitely would love to hear it. And again, we we just like to share ideas. This is a safe space. So um, yeah, maybe it could, you know, spark an idea for someone else too. So definitely please share. And um, let me see here. I want to pull up another article here. Again, just really, um, yeah, in terms of family involvement, you know, it, kind of with with kind of any sort of lifestyle change, of course, working to kind of build a habit with that will, you know, be helpful for kind of anyone involved. So I know it's easier said than done for especially busy families, especially in the summer when we've got sports and all these things going on. But if you can, you know, find a consistent time or, you know, um, yeah, just just making movement more of a regular thing, you know, will not only benefit you and, you know, your your body and um, even, you know, stress chemistry, stress chemistry too, sorry. Um, you know, yeah, those can all be helpful. And you're also, you know, modeling that to your kids too. That movement is important and, you know, yeah, it's, it's good for us in our brains. So considering that as well. And I am just looking down here too. Just some, yeah. A lot of just from my coaching experience, a lot of times, you know, individuals with family, whether they, um, yeah, you know, work into work in movement throughout the day, maybe like right after they're done with school, a lot of the families I work with too, um, you know, they have either a pre or a post walk dinner. Some people do their movement in the morning. Really, it's just a matter of, you know, building kind of that that level of intention and figuring out what works for you and your family. And one thing too that I would encourage is check in with your with your kiddos and ask them too, you know, what type of movements would you enjoy? Is there anything, you know, especially again, I know walking and biking are are probably the most common movements that we we think of. Um, but yeah, our, our kids are super creative and, and uh, they're really good at having fun. So I think especially in that way, you know, we can learn from them and use their kind of, you know, childlike creativity to expand our, our movement as well. So um, that kind of brings us to our question of the day, which the question of the day is I, I really want 
I want to challenge you guys to kind of dream for a moment. So think about what kind of movement, again, sounds the most fun to you. And again, a, a extra part of that challenge is ask your family or you know whoever you live with ask them what type of activities they think would be fun to do as a family and um you know schedule in maybe a, a fun family event for one day of the month or um you know whenever whenever you can make it work but but you know plan some things together and see you know what they would really enjoy but also you know incorporate what you enjoy too and just making it more of a a family effort, um, you know, to get moving together because it's a it's kind of a win win for everyone involved. But again, just to to repeat that question again, because um, I kind of went went out of it a little bit. So basically, just let us know what you guys are planning on doing. So whether you know, and I know not everyone listening here um, has a family or children, but if you do. Again, I wanna challenge you guys to dream for a second, think about what kind of movement sounds fun, ask your family, your kids, your spouse, you know, what type of activities they would like to do as a family, and then work together to find a day or a time um, that would work for you guys. And the challenge slash question is to let us know what you guys plan to do. So um, again, whether it's you on your own or you know, you're working collaboratively, we are working collaboratively with your family to choose, you know, a, a potentially new fun movement. Um, yeah, we really just want to hear what you guys think, you know, would be super fun. And again, anything that you mention, I'm sure will, you know, spark interest in someone else too. So thank you guys. It's a little bit of a shorter call today, but I appreciate anybody that's here and listening. And again, um, I'll post the question of the day right after this call. Um, Dan and Dr. Bradley will be back tomorrow. They'll be talking about stress management um, and incorporating the family along with that too. So be sure to join those guys at one o'clock central time tomorrow. And um, yeah, just thank you guys for being here again. We love having you as a part of our Epic community. So if you guys ever need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. We are only a message or a comment away. So let us know and have an awesome rest of your day. We'll check in later. Bye.